Super Bowl 13 was a meeting of NFL superpowers. The Steelers had beaten Dallas three years earlier in Super Bowl 10. Now, the Cowboys were defending champions. Bradshaw, as usual, thrived under the big game pressure. But a win wouldn't come easy for Bradshaw and the Steelers. Super Bowl 13 turned into an epic back and forth struggle. One big play after another, produced by the game's biggest stars. I'll tell you, I, I, I'm out of breath because this is some kind of a Super Bowl. Staubach is back deep, and he winds up and throws. Intercepted by Blunt at the 20. Joe Green broke through to nail Staubach and caused the fumble. Staubach gone, and Steve did have his mitts on that football, but he couldn't quite handle it. It was a game no one would want to leave early, as each player seemed to stretch beyond his limits. Bradshaw rolling to the right. They're after him. He throws on the move into the end zone. Hot for a touchdown to Rusty Blyer. Great leaping fingertip catch by Rocky Blyer, who has never been known as a Lynn Swan. It's like a three-second play. You can go back and look at Super Bowls over the years. They won't find a better first half than this one. The second half was equally dramatic and even more emotional. Thomas Henderson came in to nail Terry Bradshaw. It was whistled dead. Terry Bradshaw, give me the ball to Frank goes through the middle, down over the 15 to 10 to 5, touchdown Pittsburgh. On Pittsburgh's next possession, Bradshaw completed his fourth touchdown pass. It was the first time Bradshaw ever threw for more than 300 yards. And he was named the game's most valuable player. Super Bowl 13, captured by the Pittsburgh Steelers. First team in the history of the NFL to win it three times.